function can be defined in two methods one is inside class definition and one more is outside class definition without scores if you write any variable then whatever value inside that that here to display inside class definition is here definitions are written inside the class itself all the statement of the functions are written inside the class only in this program we have three data members and two member function the first member function is get data and second member function is display function welcome back to one and all myself vasanta lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we going to start with the second session of classes and object chapter but as already in the previous class you come to know the difference between procedural programming and object oriented programming is a very very important question for five marks then definition and declaration of a class and object how to define a definition or how to define a class how to define an object how to access that regarding that you came to know then with that access specifier that is scope of the data who can able to access the data members as well as member function regarding that already you came to know whereas on today's class you will come to know regarding the member function what do you mean the member function inside class definition as well as outside class definition inside class as well as outside class definition now one by one we we'll discuss member function what do you mean by member function member function is nothing but it's a set of operations it is a set of operations it will perform the specific task for example if i'm going to consider a mobile on that mobile on that mobile we have data members as well as member functions data members is the but set of data for example contacts numbers contacts numbers can be called as data and member function is nothing but incoming call outgoing call whatsapp bluetooth everything i can call it as function is it no then here the member functions can be accessed in which way we are accessing functions are set of operations already i told you functions is a bit operations where it may be incoming call outgoing call whatsapp bluetooth all those can be called as functions here this function can be defined in two methods one is inside class definition and one more is outside class definition the definitions are written in two methods one is inside class definition as well as one more is outside class definition now we'll discuss about what do you mean by inside class definition inside class definition means here definitions are written inside the class itself all the statement of the functions are written inside the class only that is to define member function inside a class function declaration within the class is replaced by actual function definition inside the class itself mainly all the statements are written inside the class itself is replaced by on the place of class declaration class declaration it is replaced by actual function definition while writing the syntax class then class name here we have written type then function name then we have argument then we are inside that we will write the body then later on we will close the class to close the class after flower bracket you have to put semicolon all the statements are written inside the class itself if you observe this here all the statements are written inside the class only because this question in the annual exam you will get for five marks explain inside class definition on that time you have to write the statement that statement itself carries one mark and the syntax carries two mark and example carries two mark now we will explain with an example consider i want to perform addition of two numbers i want to perform addition of two numbers on that type what i will do first i am going to declare the header file ash include io stream dot h is a supporting header file to perform c in as well as c out operation then the class name here we are given as add add is the class name on this in private section we are declaring the variable int abc this abc are the data members then void get data is member function member function 
and void display here also i am having this is also one of the member function if you observe this void get data for this get data i have written the statement inside the class itself the statements are written inside the class only then in the output screen how it will display in the output screen enter two numbers enter two numbers that is see out statement then see in extraction operator a extraction operator b then two and three these are the values here i input that is a value is two and b value is three then here we are closing this get data function next one more function we are taking void display function in this program we have three data members and two member function the first member function is get data and second member function is display function on this function on this display function we are doing the calculation that is c equals a plus b the result is stored on this c now now c out here insertion operator inside the double quotes we have some equals then in output screen it will display some equals then in the c we have the value that is a plus b that is five here it will display that means here we have two functions one is get data and one more is display here we open the class that here it is closing see for other flower bracket we don't have any semicolon only to close the class we have semicolon at the end after closing the flower bracket see these are the two function one is get data and one more is display then data members a b c the class name here we are given as add this is the class program statement are written inside the class only now in the main program void main add object add is the class name then object you have to write through that object object dot get data function then this get data function automatically it will execute then object dot display then display function automatically it will execute then what do you mean by inside class definition see if you observe this get data as well as display function the statements are written inside the class only that is inside class definition next we'll discuss about outside class definition what do you mean by this outside class definition outside class definition means here all the statements of the functions are written outside the class with the help of scope resolution operator statements are written outside the class see here member function declaration within the class must be defined separately separately outside the class statements are written separately outside the class it uses scope resolution operator to define the member function outside the class if you observe the syntax written type then class name scope resolution operator member function then argument then here we have body that body we are closing that i will show one more example class consider add is the class name then here in private section we are declaring the variable in a b c then in public section in public section we have the function like void get data function here you have to put semicolon then here you have to close the class here we are close the class then later on outside the class of this get data statement are written how to write first you have to write the void the return type then next you have to write the class names first return type here we are written next you have to write the class name what is the class name here we are given add then next you have to write scope resolution operator for which function we are writing get data function then bracket if you have arguments write on that argument inside the bracket if you don't have any arguments kept as it is then here we'll open the statement all the statements are written here then we close this function it means that this get data function statements are written outside the class while writing the syntax first you write the written type then next class name scope resolution operator member function then arguments then we will write the body inside the flower bracket this is a syntax because in the exam you will get a question explain outside the class definition with syntax and example then that statement carries one marks 
especially on that must and should you have to mention regarding scope resolution operator. Scope resolution operator is used to define. See, they used to define the member function outside the class. Class in the horgade define model. We can use Marty. Two major advantages of scope resolution operator helps to define the member function outside the class. With that, it will tell you that particular function belongs to which class. E get data on the yaw class is summon the party. Do on the use Marty. There are two advantages to define the member function outside the class as well as to identify that particular function belongs to which class. Now, here is a syntax written type class name, scope resolution operator, then function name, then argument. Next, we will explain with an example program. Whereas in the previous problem also, we explained regarding inside class definition. There, all the statements are written inside the class only. Consider here we have one class, the class name is add. In private section, we are declaring the variables A, B, C. These variables are called as data members. In public section, we have two functions we are written. One is void get data and one more is display. These are the member functions. Member functions. Now, here we are close with the class. After closing the class, we are writing the statement of that function. That is first, the return type. What is the return type here we have? Void that we will write. Then next, class name is add. If you observe the syntax, first return type, then class name. In the same way, first return type, then class name is add, scope resolution operator, get data, then we will write the bracket. When we are writing the statement, don't put semicolon here. But here we will write the semicolon, but here don't put any semicolon because now we are writing the statement of that. See out, enter the value of A and B. This is see out statement. In the output screen, what it will display? See in the output screen, it will display. Enter the value of a and B. Okay, then afterwards, C in extraction operator A and B, there we are written. Then we will enter the value 2 and 3, for example. This extraction operator to input the value A and B will input. Then one more function we are writing that is display function. While displaying the value, once again void, the return type for display function is void. Then class name is add scope resolution operator display function. On this display function, we are written C equals A plus B. That means the calculation is C equals A plus B. Then C out equals sum equals C. It means that if you observe this, sum equals are given inside the double quotes. Then in the output screen also, it will display sum equals. But here without quotes, I have written C. It means that without quotes, if you write any variable, then whatever value inside that, that here is going to display. What is the value inside this? Now in the C we have that is A value already we are given as 2 and B value already we are given as 3. Then the C value become 5 that is 2 plus 3, 5. That means without quotes if you write then it will display the value inside that. With quotes if you write then as it is it will display. For example, I am going to write one more example here. C out insertion operator double quotes A. Then without double quotes, if I am going to write A, then here as it is A only it will display. Whereas in this case, whatever value inside this A, that value there it will display. Then already here we are closed the class. Here we are closed one function and here we are closed display function. Whereas in the main program, we are creating the object first. That is class name, then object. Class name we are given as add, then object name, then object dot get data when i'm going to write object dot get data then this get data function automatically it will going to execute next object dot display function then display function automatically it will going to execute then finally we we'll close the main program which is open now it's clear it means that i can able to access the functions by using dot operator if you observe this program then Add is the class name, ABC are the data members, get data and display are the member functions. Whereas here, these are the statement of get data function, these are the statement of display function. Then, this is the object, we are calling the functions by using dot operator.
Now is it clear? It means that on this class you come to know regarding what you mean by inside class definition that is how to define the statement inside the class only there function declaration within the class is replaced by actual function definition this line compulsory here to write then only we will get the marks then this syntax carries two marks and any example program you can write addition of two numbers or multiplication of two numbers any one you can write that carries two marks that is inside class definition hagandre statement to class welgade not only class open agide il close agide class welgade ni statement baradre then it can be called as inside class definition whereas outside class definition this is also very important here what happens the statements are written outside the class the function statements are written outside the class by using the scope resolution operator scope resolution operator helps to define the member function outside the class with that it will tell you that particular function belongs to which class then this is syntax carries two marks they are compulsory to mention the return type class name scope resolution operator member function then argument here don't put any semicolon because there we are writing the statement of the function now is it clear on this example all the statement are written outside the class here we open class and here we close the class how we come to know that class is closed if you observe this example see for all the flower bracket here we open closed open closed open closed but if you observe of the flower bracket closing flower bracket we have not put any semicolon only to close the class of the flower bracket you have to put semicolon when you write semicolon it means that that class is closed now here we open the class and here we are close the class then we are written the statement both get data as well as display this is regarding inside the class as well as outside the class next class you will come to know regarding how to access the members by using dot operator how to define the object that is class name then object name how to access by using dot operator then what is the difference between structure as well as class then what do you mean by array of objects array is a data members of a class regarding that next class you will come to know thank you for all of you